tutorial, we're going to show you how you can design an immediate partial denture in Exacad. Uh, in this case, we're going to do an immediate extraction of uh, two central incisors, and we're going to design a temporary partial denture that uses those um, incisor um, pre-op scans to be able to copy the shape. So we can then incorporate that shape into the final. So all we have here, we've got our indication screen, we've got the default settings here. I've typed in the name of the patient, which in this case is gonna be me. Um, I'm gonna select a digital impression scan. And on the centrals here, I'm gonna click on, if we go on to, on the removables, we're going to partial denture. And we're going to go and 3D print that as well. Material type, you can choose, you can choose the denture base, but I'm just going to click there. And I'm going to control and copy that. They're going to be linked because I'm a 3D printed. And I'm also going to add on the antagonist here. And I'm going to click on the adjacent teeth. And select those as adjacent teeth. I'm going to change the scan mode to digital impression scan and save. So let's design. Let's see how we go. So this is the latest version of Dental Card with XCAD. This is 3.1. And we're going to bring in the scans the same as usual. So let's bring in the OBJ files. That's the upper and the lower. We're going to change the orientation of this so we can see over the occlusal surface. Just like that. Click Next. 3D editors to clean up the file if we need to. In this case, we can maybe just clean this up a little bit. And invert that and delete any excess. And then click next. I'm not going to modify the data. And now you can see here we have those central teeth already present, we can extract them. So what do we do in this case? We need to go to the, before we do any more, we need to go to the expert mode, okay? And then when we're on expert mode, I'm simply gonna right click on this model and we're gonna see here, we say copy or mirror or extract tooth. We're gonna click that. I'm gonna move this menu to the side. I'm gonna extract a tooth and we wanna change it to a virtual pre-op. Okay, so that we're going to do on both of these centrals. So I'm going to click this one. It's going to select this tooth. And this is going to become the one, one. I'm going to change the direction of this extraction here. It's going to update that. And then I'm going to extract another. I'm going to select on the upper left one. And again, that's the upper left one there. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to change this direction. And then I'm going to click OK. So now we have those two teeth virtually extracted and converted to virtual pre-ups that we can copy. OK. I'm going to go back to the wizard now. And then we can select. I'm going to turn off the pre-op scans. And you can see this virtual extractions that we've done here. I'm going to choose then what we're going to add these teeth to. So distal contact of the one. Distal contact of the two one. I'm not too fussed about this position yet. So I'm just going to click next. I'm 
going to move these up a little bit. And we can rotate them. Bring them back a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to just forget about all of that. Don't need to worry because when we get to this stage, we have these pre op teeth that we've converted. So we're going to adapt the model teeth and it'll automatically change these. 